Hey guys, welcome to another Marvel Universe figure review. Today we're going to take a look at a really special figure. Uh, one of my personal favorites. She is none other than Spider-Woman. As you can see right here. Uh, let's take a quick look at the packaging in which she comes in. She comes in sorry. Uh, here is the uh, artwork. I don't remember who made this. But it looks pretty cool nonetheless. Here are some marks of this stupid uh, department store sticker. Uh, I don't know what... it annoys me a lot. Uh, I don't know why they put the sticker precisely in the figure's head. Not Well, not in the figure's head, but in the, uh, the artwork's uh, head. They mess it up horribly. They can put it in the plastic bubble or why don't put it in, in the Marvel deal, but well. Uh, she is figure number six from series 3. Um, here are some more uh, figures in the wave. Uh, Doc Samson, which is great and I haven't had a chance to pick him up. World War Hulk, which I already have and I made a review on it. Uh, and Captain Marvel. And here we have uh, Captain Commander Rogers saying collect them all. And, uh, what? No description? Damn it. Well, I have to uh, post it in the video description. Enough with that. On to the figure. Really, really cool figure. This is the second uh, Spider-Woman figure released in the Universe line. Uh, and I say this because the first one, the first Spider-Woman released in the 53 quarter inch scale was... Uh, I don't remember the name of her alter ego, but she, she was the second uh, Spider-Woman in the Marvel Universe uh, timeline. Or in the, the comics timeline, you could say. Uh, but uh, the uh, the first Spider Woman in the in the scale was uh, the one that included uh, Iron Man in the Secret Wars comic pack. She was uh, she sported sported a black costume, pretty much uh, like Spider Man's black costume, and she was uh, a redhead. Now this is the original Spider Woman. Her name is Jessica Drew. For those of you who don't know, and it's a really cool character. She's been through a lot like uh, all the Marvel Universe uh, characters. Uh, she was an agent of Hydra, later an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. or something like that, but she's been uh, through a lot of hard stuff. And I really like the uh, the costume and the the web wings, you can call them like that, if you will. Uh, really, really good figure. I don't have very good lightning, lighting for some reason, but uh, you have a better look at the face sculpt and the body sculpt. The body sculpt is your standard issue uh, Marvel Universe uh, female sculpt, which is good. I have no complaints. But uh, articulation-wise, the newer sculpt, the X-23 sculpt, is better. Way better. But, uh, yeah. Uh, what else can I say about the figure? Really... Uh, really well detailed, the costume is really well made, 100% uh, comic, ac comic accurate uh, no, nope. uh, little or no paint floss in this one, very good Hasbro uh, yeah, I dare say it has no paint floss, well th there's one here in the in the wing but it's not a, a major, the costume is overall uh, well painted for, most, for the most part uh, Stretch articulation, she comes with a ball jointed head, balling shoulders, uh, uh, hitched elbows, swivel wrists, a ball jointed torso, the swivel waist, oh, I dropped her, sorry, uh, swivel hips, a double jointed knees, and uh, hinged ankles, I think, or ball jointed. I don't really uh, get the articulation right, but it, it has articulation alright, so that's what matters, doesn't it? Uh, her wings can be moved due to these uh, things right here, so uh, for added posability, which is great. And I love the the hourglass in here, the, the yellow uh, hourglass, and the mask, the the eyes and the hair. I mean, it looks just amazing. It's like they have uh, taken Spider Woman out of the comic book and uh, taken her to. Uh, to a bigger uh, 
universe or whatever. I'm just uh, mumbling. Uh, don't worry. Uh, really, really good. I like the hair. It's made out of a uh, flimsy, rubbery plastic so that it doesn't limit uh, the articulation or, or the head movement. Now, mine looks like she's dancing. Uh, she's a ballet dancer or or whatnot. But uh, that's uh, the pose I, I came up with for Spider-Woman. It looks kind of weird, but uh, she has a fist and an open hand, which is nice to keep the balance between. I certainly don't like uh, figures with just two open hands or like uh, the uh, ultra posable Spider-Man. That, that's one of the main reasons I've been reluctant to buy it. Well, that's another subject for another time. Now, uh, I've seen this figure uh, recently at some department stores at a decent price. Now, that's one thing I wanted to point out. Don't ever, ever, by any means, never pay a really high price for a figure. Grow, uh, grow a little bit of patience, wait on it. They tend to pop out in some stores like Target or Walmart or something. Uh, so, uh, be very careful with that. Do not pay really high or ridiculous prices for some figures. I know they are cool, and you might be desperate to have them, but uh, wait on them. They tend to pop out. It's a really, really great figure. I give her a 10 out of 10. Highly recommend her. Uh, buy her if you see her. And if you have the money, of course. Now, uh, one little tip I forgot to, I always forget to mention, or I don't know if I've said it this before. Uh, if you can pick uh, your figure, uh, what do I mean by that? If there are more than one, uh, there's more than, than one Spider-Woman figure, try to pick the one that's best painted. What do I mean by that? Uh, check the the lipstick is well applied. Check the eyes or, or check that the eyes are evenly painted. Um, check there are no uh, little or no paint flaws all around the figure of course in the front you uh, it would be really hard to see the back of the figure since it's in this plastic prison as I like to call it but uh, you can at least check the front if you don't have any other choice and you have uh, one or two figures well pick the best out of those but uh, yeah also I forgot she comes with a display stand which is a, a standard issue this has been it for the review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, on Monday, stay tuned for a special uh, Star Wars video. All of you Clone Wars, uh, all of you Clone fans, stay tuned. Bye.